What's up YouTubers, it's Jeb with Tapped Out Cycles coming with you. We're going to show you guys today how to uh, properly adjust the chain. Now most bikes are pretty similar in nature, a uh, few differences, um, but the same process on all the bikes. Uh, we'll be working on a 2012 V-Star 250 today and uh, Brian's going to be showing us how to do this, Brian. So Brian, why don't you get started? Alright, get your appropriate socket, get your axle. Sometimes you have to hold both sides. Go ahead and loosen it up. You don't have to take it all the way off, just get it loose. And you want to take your adjusters loose. On both sides. All right. Now to take all the slack out of the chain, we're gonna turn the adjusters in. Now the manufacturer will have included some marks to help keep it aligned. So you try to keep the number of lines even on both sides. We've also got a step further. We've got a tool we can attach to the sprocket and chain to check the alignment. And what we're looking for is about three quarter of an inch slack or less at the midpoint of the chain. I'm going to try and do the even number of turns on both sides of the bike. Now this looks pretty good, so we're going to put a little wrench in to put a bind on the chain. So that, what that does here is it tightens the chain up. So it uh, pulls the wheel all the way forward so that, uh, so that the adjustment doesn't become uh, skewed. Now we're going to check that, that out and that chain adjustment looks pretty good what we're going to do now is uh, place this tool this alignment tool on the sprocket and this alignment tool is just going to kind of double check that our alignment's uh, good and, and straight on this on this particular unit so and if you uh, if you look on this alignment tool what we're looking for is the rod to be centered with the chain I don't know if you can see that um, but that's what we're looking at and uh, in this case it, it does look centered so for all intents and purposes this this chain is uh, is uh, well adjusted what we'll do now is just to finalize the torque and and we'll um, set the adjusters as far as uh, make sure that the adjusters are lock nuts are bottomed out not all bikes have uh, the lock nuts some some don't but uh, in this case it does um, and keep in mind that the marks on on the side here uh, they're for reference only um, not all the times are they actually true uh, most of the time they're pretty close uh, they're not always they're not always accurate so um, Anyhow, thanks for viewing the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and press like.